Um, actually, boost better than deep learning for time series. A paper confirming confirming what every Kagler knows. I've always wanted to try this. There's arc, the arc, but we we found out that if you change this to a five, you can actually get this in HTML5, any archive paper. You're welcome, anyone who reads things on their phone. Is this in, is, is this in Web3? Yes. We're minting this right now. It's just tables and correlations and RMSE and showing that the, that XGBoost beats Arima. Oh my god. Where the radar graphs at? Yeah, give me the radar graphs, bro. Do you really need deep learning models for time series? I need pictures for this. Yeah, I'll say this. Yes, we knew from Sliced. And Slice is a very small set of data sets in machine learning. But no one on Sliced who made it into the playoffs used any sort of time series modeling, whether it was Arima or Ceramax or FB Profit or anything like that. No one used it for any of the time series models because XGBoost not only was easier to get from beginning to end and get a baseline model going, but it's easier to tune and it's faster to tune. That's not just XGBoost. That's all gradient boosted models. People were using, like Ethan used CatBoost. I was using Light, Light GBM. People were using Light GBM. People were using Light GBM through Optuna. Landon was using his own out of the box package that he built that smart tune through Bayesian stepwise progressions, right? Hyperparameter tuning through his own Bayesian inferenced way. And it was all gradient boosted models. They, were, they weren't time series models. The reason is because of the power of a gradient boosted model versus the power of a well-tuned time series. Now the time series gives you the assumption of time, but the way that it's going to fit it right with every single like parameter as fit sort of in series as opposed to the gradient boosted machine that allows you to parallelize all of your features and interactions uh it's really f slow like if you ever had to tune an fb profit model a profit model is really f slow to tune so even in terms of like your cutting edge time series versus your cutting edge gradient boosted models the speed accuracy trade off is clearly in favor of your gradient boosted models. One, the speed is speedier, and two, the accuracy is more accurate. You minimize loss faster, you do all this kind of stuff faster, right? So actually boost this GPU train, right? So for speed and equipment time series works, really need to sit back and think about this. It works, and most likely you can get a good, if not great, time series model and have a good forecast if you make all your assumptions right, and if you can sit through all the tuning, yeah, why not? But a gradient boosted model is going to get you similar gains. And that's not like because the gradient boosted model makes the same assumptions. That's not true. The gradient boosted model doesn't make the same assumptions. The fact that the math and uh, the processing allows you to get there, that's more of a computer science, computer in engineering feat than it is uh, a mathematical feat or a, you know, time series or signal processing feed.